Greetings, everybody. I'm back. We're gonna go hit up some garage sales. Woo. Oh, and yeah, it's a new shirt. Just stopped at Value Pond and picked up these five games for $3. We got Black Ops, Guitar Hero, uh, Barbie, Island Princess, and Mojo. Woo. Just stopped at Cash America Pond. They had some Switch games and some 360 games that I was trying to grab, but they were asking way too high prices on everything, and they weren't budging, and I can get them cheaper from GameStop, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh just stopped at Goodwill over there. Um, they literally just opened. A lot of the pawn shops open at nine, some open at 10, Goodwill opens at 10, anyway. Um, nothing at this particular Goodwill. She said that as soon as stuff comes in, it goes right out, so bad luck on that one. I mean, they had games there, but they were all like garbage sport games. But anyway, I'll see you guys uh, at our next stop. Woo! Just stopped at that pawn shop right there, Tim's Pawn, and I picked up not one Mario, but two Marios. I got new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, and I also picked up uh, Mario Maker. They had five bucks on Mario Maker. This one I didn't pay that much for. I got them to go way down on this one. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Awesome deal. And now we're gonna go hit up some more stops to see if we can find some more Marios. Woo! Just stopped at another pawn shop and I feel like I'm living in, uh, what's that Austin Powers <clears throat> movie where the guy's like, one billion dollars. So I walk in there and I see a PS5. I'm like, oh yay, a PS5. How much are they going to be charging for this? Because the MSRP is 500. I know I can get like 700 for it, make a couple hundred. Anyway, the guy straight up looks at me and he's like, we want $1,000 for that. Oh. And like, like I've been telling everybody else, I went to GameStop a couple weeks ago. They had PS5s in stock, but they wouldn't sell just the system for 500. They wanted me to buy like a whole bundle of stuff it was like an $800 bundle, and then you had to be a pro membership, all this other stuff. Nobody is selling PS5s for $500. They want double or nothing. Just stopped at another value pawn. Um, this one didn't really have anything, like, period. It wasn't, it wasn't that the only stuff they had was high price this year. Um, they just didn't have much stuff here. That's what people don't realize. Um, my area is starting to dry up. Um, sometimes I'll find stuff and get lucky, sometimes not, but, yeah, pawn, everything is drying up. You know things are getting bad when prices are cheaper at GameStop than they are outside of GameStop. You know, like I said, I went to the pawn, just a couple pawn shops ago we went to, and they wanted a thousand dollars for a PS5. You know, GameStop was selling a bundle, you had to buy the bundle, but still, it's less than a thousand dollars. So, anyway... Yeah, things are just nuts right now. I'm going to keep looking. Maybe I'll find some at the next stop. I'll see you guys there. Whoa. Just stopped at another pawn shop. This one, I don't know why I stopped here. They have a Game Boy in there that they have priced at $80. They have uh, Mario is missing on the Super Nintendo. They have a Mario World on the Super Nintendo. They want $30 bucks a piece for games that I'd pay $10 for. They're not going to get it. They're never going to get it. They're not even going to attempt to get it. I've sold two original Game Boys for less than what they're asking for theirs on eBay. Since they've had that one in the store, it's still sitting in the store. But hey, if they want to if they if they just if they want to sit on stuff to each their own. So that's why, see, everybody says, well, why do you wholesale the reasons? Why do you, why do you sell stuff? No, I'm not selling stuff too cheap. I'm moving stuff fast. So when you, when you go in my store and you see, oh, well, that's all crap. Yeah, because when I get good stuff, I make sure it moves and I get the money on it. I don't sit on it forever. You know, sometimes I'll, when, when I'm dealing with eBay and I'm listing stuff on eBay, sometimes on eBay I'll hold on to stuff for a little bit. But when it comes to stuff in the store that I get or whatever, 
I'm just moving that crap. I don't want to sit on it like the pawn shop. I want to move that crap. Woo! Just stopped at Salvation Army. Trying to find some deals. They had a Wii guitar for 25. I'm, I'm not paying 25 on those. I, I barely get 35 for them when I sell them. So, not doing that. Anywho, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if there's any more stops. I got a recap clip to show for you guys. Thanks to all of you that watched today. I know I haven't been doing a lot of these garage sale videos, which is why I po decided to do this one, because it's been a minute, and I apologize. I apologize that all the Kucharski episodes are going up months after the stuff was filmed, but, you know, things have been busy for me a little bit. I'm trying to free up some time and do some more of this kind of stuff. Hopefully it'll start... Hopefully things will start getting better for me, but we'll see. We'll see, and I'll keep you guys updated on all things Game Wizard. Woo. Okay, boys, here's the recap. So, we got new Super Mario Brothers on a Wii. We got Black Ops 360, Band Hero, Guitar Hero, Princess Islands, Mojo. If you're wondering why I got these, they were 50 cents. I'm not passing up complete PS2 games for 50 cents. And then I think this was a buck. I think this was like $7 for a Mario game. So, we always need the Marios. And then last but not leastly, you can see what I paid for this one. Boom, $5 from Mario to the maker. Uh, this will conclude this week's garage sale episode. I know it's kind of short uh, because there were no garage sales. And uh, that wasn't my fault. I wanted to go garage selling today. There was no garage sales. I checked all my apps. I was driving down roads. There was no garage sales today. I don't know what happened. Probably because it was the first week of the new year. Everybody's still hung over from last year, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. When we go garage shelling for Video Game Wizard. I'm out. Woo. Well, it's not over. <laughs> Luckily for you guys, this garage sale episode, which should have ended, um, is not ending because I just got... Let me just show you what I got. I'll do them one at a time. I went into a Goodwill, um, and they had actual rare stuff. Not great, good, but like rare stuff. I grabbed all the stuff that they had that was, you know, priced reasonably, whatever. Anywho, so let's start with the babies before I get to the rares. We've got Wing Commander, The Secret Mission. Um, this one was four dollars. A lot of these were priced way too high, but um, the the main holy grail I got for for twenty bucks, and you'll see you'll see that one in a second. New Bunga's Ambition. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have Breath of Fire. We have a Lagoon. Next up, we have Dungeon Amastas. Dungeon Masters. Uh, we have Illusion of Gaia. Did I, no, I didn't do that one. I thought... I'm losing track of which ones I did and which ones I didn't do. We have Zombies. Hey, my neighbors. We have Final Fantasy 3. Uh, this one was like eight bucks, by the way. I just want to point that out before I get, before I get where I'm going. Secret of Mana. I'm doing these one at a time instead of just showing you the whole lot like I normally do because I want them all to be surprises. Secret of Mana. Um, that one I think was like twenty or twenty-five bucks, but I think it's like fifty something dollars right now. Okay, this next bad boy um, is like two fifty, two hundred and fifty dollar game. I paid twenty dollars for it. Um, and this isn't just a good title. This is one that uh, people are actively searching out because of what it is. And this is going to sell. This is, in my opinion, a grail. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Mother Effing Trigger. And you know what's funny? I was going to film this clip originally because I wanted to show you guys that I got a power glove 
from the movie, like from the movie The Wizard. And I'm like, hey, I got, I was gonna be like, hey, here's the after clip. I got a power glove. This is rare. This is like a hundred dollars for just this without the sensor, and I got it for cheap. You know, and I, I was gonna brag about that, and, and and then on my way home from the flea market yesterday, you just, you never know. You literally never know. Money never sleeps. Bills never go away. But wizards never stop buying games. I'm never off the clock. You know, I walk into a random Goodwill. Hey, uh, oh, there's a stack of Super Nintendo games. What you got there? 20 bucks. So thank you all for joining me uh, on this garage sale adventure. Uh, Hey, we ended up with a 10 minute video. It wasn't gonna be 10 minutes, now it is. So let me, let me, let me organize these real fast because I, this is gonna be an extremely long clip, I apologize, but I'm just, I'm just excited. Stuff like this doesn't happen to, to people like me, usually. So, excuse me if it seems like I'm bragging. I'm not necessarily trying to brag, it's just I'm excited. This doesn't happen very often. So there's the babies, there they are. There are those babies. And then there's the big baby right there. And then, oh yeah, I got a power glove. Because that's my favorite movie. Or one of my favorite movies, The Wizard. Because if you didn't know, that's where the name of the store came from. You know, now you're playing with power. Nintendo Power. Woo! Okay.